hello everyone welcome back to the channel i am back with an offending everyone video <laughs> how crazy was your ex so yeah guys you like and subscribe to the channel if you're new uh if you don't feel like subscribing yet watch the video and then decide yes and uh let's get this well let's see well let's see what kind of <laughs> crazy story that they have for you in store you know yeah let's get this this one key in my car breaking and entering eating my sandwich these are just some of the crazy things my ex did so here's a story about the wildest person i've ever been with named angie it was my third year of college named and i was angie. heading to the woods to smoke when I wait, wait 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 see a woman hysterically crying i say hey girl you look like you're having a rough go of it you want to smoke some sticky icky she hesitates at first and says sure so we began walking to the woods and all i could think about was how easy it'd be to kidnap her she had no idea who i was mm. now we're walking somewhere where no one would hear her scream <laughs> Talk about a rookie mistake. But lucky for her, I had morals and no rope. Anyway, she introduced herself. <laughs> hey. Morals and no rope. Yo. So if, if you had rope, but you still had morals, the rope would freaking make you throw those morals out the window. Okay. I'm Angie. Pleasure to meet you, Angie. I'm Steve Storms. You're lying. Nope, that's my real name. That's crazy, because I have a thunderstorm tattoo in the back of my neck. Here, push my hair aside and you'll see. So I stand behind her, palm her hair, and immediately get aroused. Johnson's like, whoa, are we doing this right now? Relax, this is step one. What was that? <laughs> oh, I have a lovely tattoo. <laughs> anyway, we get to the woods, we're laughing and having a good time when I say, so, uh, so what got y'all hot and bothered? Well, I just broke up with my boyfriend. Johnson's like, ah, game on. I said, oh, game that's on. terrible <laughs> to hear. All while barely making eye contact. She was wearing a low cut mm -hmm. shirt and it was cold outside. A little hard to make eye contact, you know? Plus, drugs yes. were impacting my decision making. Sober me <laughs> is respectful me. High me is fun bags pretty. So, after our yes. smoke session, I spit some game and get her number. Now, I had planned on giving her some time to recover, as she just went through a rough breakup, but after a few days of texting, my Johnson's like, Put it in! So, I invite her back to my place <laughs> for a movie. She yo, yo, this dude, I gotta stop applaud his creativeness, bro. I gotta stop applauding that. <laughs> Imagine if, imagine, just imagine this dude recording this in the house while, <laughs> while people, <laughs> what, yo, if, <laughs> yo, he probably had to do so many takes because he messed up and, and because he was laughing up the lip. But yeah, <clears throat> people would think he was crazy, going crazy in that room by himself. He agrees, and for the first 20 minutes, things are going well. And and if he was on camera, like his real face, if he was on camera, he, would, he couldn't do any of this. He, he freaking, yo, he was too embarrassed to go outside. No, she brings up her RA. Talk about how hot he is and how sometimes she sneak into his room and hide under his covers. He used to say this was a what? huge turnoff. My Johnson was like a deflated balloon. Party over. So once the movie was done, I asked her to leave. The next day, she goes back to flirt mm -hmm. texting me. But I wasn't having it. I'm like, girl, why are you writing this to me? Shouldn't you be sending this to your RA? She goes, no, it's not like that. We're just friends. I'm like, yeah, what? okay. Then my Johnson's like, psst, psst, remember those nips? I'm like, damn, Jim Dog, you make a compelling argument. Well, I guess I could give her another chance. So I invite her over again for another movie, but this time my roommates aren't leaving. They're like, we gave you the room the other day and you dropped the ball. I'm like, that's a valid point. Whatever. Yes. We'll just all watch it together. Ten minutes in and she starts texting me. This movie's boring. Wish we were doing something more interesting. Winky face. So after pondering for a moment, I said out loud, hey Ange, you wanna go s*** in my room? Mm, sure. Then two quick high fives to my roommates later, and we're doing the dirty. And this chick is wild. Moaning, contorting her body, whispering in my ear, you're so big. Ah, oh, it was magical. <laughs> Afterwards, I didn't even smoke cigarettes and somehow had one. <laughs> Yo, that seemed freaking... A generic white girl compliments. <laughs> yeah, we know, we know. Yeah. Hey, whisper into my ear, you're so big. Ah, oh, it was magical. Afterwards, I didn't even smoke cigarettes and somehow had one in my mouth. I'm like, damn, yeah. girl, that was some good fucking. <laughs> anyway, Angie came mm. over again a few days after, and a few days after that, and then she yeah. started coming over every day. Best every part was, day. she would leave afterwards. Ah, oh, it was the dream. Working with no commitments, what more could a college student want? But what I neglected yeah. to realize was how lazy it'd make me. You see, when a guy's yes. hunting for Kitty, he's on his A game. Freshly trimmed, mm. looking sharp, and smelling like a burrito in a nightclub. But when <laughs> Kitty's guaranteed, we get lazy. Easy. I'll give an example. Yes. Every Tuesday and Thursday, I'd go to karate in the morning. Afterwards, I'd head back to my room where Angie'd be in my bed waiting for me. Now, normally, I'd shower first as I just sweat my balls off. But one day, she presses me up against the door and starts <laughs> me. I'm like, damn, girl, if you don't care, I don't care. And this only maybe get lazier. Because not only did I stop <laughs> Not only did you stop what? <laughs> Showering? Yo. 
and that's kind of true you know it's kind of true the, the motivation is not there the freaking uh, when you're that young the purpose that's the purpose which is misguided because the purpose should be freaking securing wealth but damn but yeah yeah well yeah let's go showering before baby making but i stopped showering after that stank yeah. just be following me around from class to class why does it smell like shit and shame in here yeah. because poon was guaranteed i stopped hunting for kitty altogether why go to the bar and spoon feed white claws into a chick when i already had yeah. one back in my room ready to swallow whatever yeah. i gave her none of that hey let's go dancing for 45 yo yo <laughs> you made sure to put that all the way up in the hair up in the air dog because if it was any lower <laughs> youtube would be on his case or probably already on his case a minute says i dry hump you into thinking i'd be good in the bedroom Bitch is already in my bed twerking so let's continue for the rest of the semester until we're about to head home for the summer angie texts me saying come to my room we need to talk now normally i'd be freaking out thinking she's about to say she's pregnant but there's no way because sure we were talking on the regs but she was so good at taking birth control every day at 4 p.m no matter what was happening she'd snap and say pills it's not even like she said alarms she said a baby ending spider sense time to die kid so i went up to her room Dang. and she says do you want a date because you'll be living off campus next year and this won't be as simple as going down a flight of stairs to see one another that's a good point you know what let me think about it so after a day of pondering i was like oh hell no because even though we had great chemistry in the bedroom the bitch never laughed at my jokes i'd be killing in the school pool and she'd just be floating there motionless like matthew <laughs> perry's corpse start swimming buddy anyway i meet back up with Angie. And let her down what the, the best hell? way I could. She Yo, I, I missed that joke. I don't know what that joke is about. Because, yeah, yeah. I'm not American culture that, culturized. I'm freaking Jamaican culturized. So, so, so uh, yeah. And that's culturized is probably not a word. Yes, it's just to freaking get you to understand what, uh, yeah, what, where most of uh, my the references will probably miss me. She seemed to take it all right, not realizing her brain was beginning to tweak. That summer, I'm on Facebook, posting on a bunch of hotties' walls, not realizing yeah. Ange was seeing this, bugging the f out. So much so, yeah. she would call up my friends hysterically crying. Friends be like, well, you aren't dating, so what's the problem? The problem being, Ange's feelings had tied up her logic, and had no plans of setting them free. Fast forward to the yeah. beginning of fall semester, and my roommates and I are having a party. True. Things are going great until Ange comes over and starts cock blocking the sh out of me. She wasn't even pretending. At one point, she sits down in the middle of a Kings game, going, I want to play. We're kind of in the middle of, ugh, whatever, here's some cards. So I go back to macking on the chick next to me when Ange says, I have to go to the bathroom. Ladies, come with me. Keep in mind, she doesn't know any of the women there. So they all pile in the bathroom, and I'm looking at the guys going, this, this isn't good. A few minutes later, they come out, and surprise, surprise, none of them want to play anymore. I'm like, Ange, what did you say to them? She goes, nothing. I'm like, all right, nothing. that's it. Out. She starts to cry, pretending she's the victim, but I could care less. I knew with her around, I was never getting laid. So I yeah. said, get out of here. A few days later, I'm walking to a bar and I see one of my friends across the street. I'm like, Adrian, Adrian. He looks at me and keeps walking. But my drunk ass is like, well, maybe he didn't recognize me. So I run over and I'm like, hey, homie. Adrian was being real apprehensive. And I'm like, what's wrong, man? Did I say something horrible? If I did, I'm sorry. Nah, I, I thought you were angry at me. Why would he be angry at you? Well, Ange said, ah, that is crazy. But even though we yeah. hashed things out, I was still super pissed. Because if Ange is telling this guy I don't want to speak to him, then she's probably doing it to others. Now I'm missing out on connections and experiences because some is lying about me. Oh, I was heated. So drunk me thought, what is the meanest thing I could do right now? I could call her some basic insult like punt or bore, but I'm crafty and I could do better than that. <laughs> then it hit me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Making sure those words are YouTube safe, bro. YouTube safe. Yeah. You see, the last time we were and I thought, you know what, this doesn't feel that tight. So while I was doing her, I stuck in a finger, then two fingers, then I stuck my whole hand. Now, granted, my hand was curled, but that's still a lot of digits to cram in a client. In a client, get the fuck. Yo, yo, I almost, I almost, I almost cursed. <laughs> this dude is crazy, and I'm, and I'm here for it. This dude is a freaking comedian. But no, oh, this story is wild. And that's when I came up with the greatest nickname ever, Whole Hand Ange. Oh, it's the chef's kiss of insults. So I text Angie that her new nickname around campus is Whole Hand Ange. <laughs> Needs to say, she did not take it very well. And text yeah. back literal death threats. <laughs> really? 
It's really brightened up my day, you know? Yeah. The next day, I get a text from a number <laughs> I don't recognize, and it turns out it's Angie's sister. She goes on this huge rant of, you have no idea who you're messing with, and I'll ruin your life for disrespecting my sister. Now, of course, oh, I showed oh my, my homies gosh. who all had a good laugh, and now we're spitballing ideas of things to write back when I say, hey, how about I respect your sister, I wash my hand before playing her like a puppet. Even my buddies are <laughs> like, bro, that might be a little much. So I wrote yes, it out and was much. about to send when I started to have second thoughts. Because normally my brain always picks the funny option, regardless yes. of how much. <laughs> so you see, you see that this dude is a freaking comedian. A trouble will get me in. Tis my how to your high school teacher video. But in this one moment, what? I thought, you know. I'm going to check that out. I'm going to check that out right there. What? I probably should let this go. However, I didn't let anything else go. Over the next few weeks, I'd get DMs from guys on Facebook threatening to beat the shit out of me, and I'd always respond back with, you are adorable. Because I get they're trying to protect someone who's spoon-feeding them lies, but threatening someone on Facebook is like a 10 with herpes. Flashy at first glance, yeah. but ultimately worthless. It's also yes. funny to me that Angie's yes. telling people I'm harassing her, as she's encouraging people to harass me. Like, damn girl, you don't see any projection here? And even though she seemed hyper fixated on me, I could care less about her. Because no matter how many times we I never loved her. So I didn't have this emotional desire to get revenge. But I did enjoy seeing her. Because every time we'd bump into each other, she'd scream, I fucking hate you! And just think for a moment how much power that is. My mere yes. presence is enough to ruin <laughs> someone's day? <laughs> oh, oh, it so happy. But this only Yo, added You can see that this dude is kind of kind of up there too, you know? And I get, I get what he's saying, you know? <laughs> it's Angie's insanity, and in December, I get a phone call from Campus PD telling me to come down to the station. Obviously, I'm really nervous, because 95% of the time, when a girl says a guy's harassing her, she's right. But luckily, the cops were very reasonable. A woman named Angie is claiming you're harassing her. Now, we've heard her side of the story, we'd like to hear yours. So the first thing I told him is, we used to have s in the regs. Wait a minute, you used to have a romantic relationship? Yeah, why do you think all this is happening? The cop just rolls his eyes and says, oh, continue. Then I showed him all the threatening texts and messages I got, and by the end of it, the officer was completely on my side. Side. However, because police were called on a student, I also had to go speak to the director of student affairs. And this bitch uh, was the polar opposite. Before I yes. said anything, she just starts listing threats. Harassments of students will not be tolerated, and you could be expelled for rah, 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 rah. After minutes of listening to this <laughs> cheap <laughs> answer, I said, <laughs> What the hell kind of sound is that? Dead. So, you've only heard oh. one side of a story and immediately came to a conclusion? Huh, I didn't realize an accusation was a conviction. Maybe you should take some of my criminal justice classes and see how gathering evidence is important when it comes to a potential crime. Needs to say she was pissed, but I just sat there arms crossed like, I know you got nothing, bitch. Fast forward to Valentine's <laughs> Day and I'm dating this lovely girl named Rachel. We're both walking on campus holding hands when we bump into Angie who goes ballistic. Screaming, f*** you, f*** you, you piece of shit. My girl starts chewing around saying, he doesn't want your stinky cooter anymore, you flat-faced bitch. I'm laughing, dragging my girl away, saying, it's not worth it. <laughs> Just ignore it. The next day, I get another call from campus police, so I go down to the station and speak to the same officer who says, so we got more complaints of harassment. Officer, I've done my best to avoid her, and in the time I've spoken to you, I've only bumped into her once on Valentine's Day when I was with my girlfriend. Officer was trying to remain professional, but I could tell he's like, ugh. I can't believe I gotta deal with this nonsense. A week later, yeah. I get a call from Ange saying, we need to talk. I'm thinking she's gonna try to bury the hatchet. Nope. Turns out her paranoia was at max, and she says, I know you keep stalking me, and if you don't stop, I'll be forced to take legal action. At first, I'm being real neutral, saying, Ange, I'm not stalking you or harassing you or, quite frankly, care what you do. But she is adamant, saying, you think I'm making this up? You think I'm crazy? No, I got f***ing witnesses. I said, listen, I'm not calling you crazy, but calling the cops on Valentine's Day when you see me holding hands hands with another girl is, um, a little cray-cray. Then she starts threatening my career at the time, saying, you know, if I file charges against you, you'll never be a cop. That's when my brain snapped to sarcasm mode. I'm like, damn girl, I didn't think six and a half inches was enough to lose your mind over, and yet, here we are. Now, I know I'm a god at f***ing, but you're gonna have to find a new prophet, okay? Whole hand, Ange. <laughs> Dang, yo, the dude, yo, and that is what freaking ah, young male syndrome young 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 people brain in general people it dude didn't even freaking <laughs> the dude chose a war instantly he didn't even freaking <laughs> made a second thought he said his freaking sarcasm brain chipped in what the hell is that <laughs> well yeah I understand. And guys, to this day, I have never seen someone so angry. She couldn't even form words. She just sat there shaking, going, 
<laughs> That's when I knew it was time to dip. About a month <laughs> later, I get a call from my friend Nora, who just so happens to be Angie's roommate. Nora invites me over to her place, and I'm like, is this a trap? She's like, no, Angie's gone for the weekend, so it's just me here. I'm like, oh, all right. So I go over, and we're hanging out for a bit, when she casually mentions, you know I found your schedule at Angie's desk? I'm like, what? She goes, here, this is your schedule, right? And I'm looking at it going, holy shit. Angie broke into my place. Nora's like, what are you talking about? I said, because one day I came home and the kitchen window was open. I go to my roommate and I'm like, Jake, why did you open the kitchen window? You know, like, it's busted and super hard to close. I didn't open <laughs> it. Bro, you're the only one here and it's not like we got robbed because our laptops and TV are still here. But little did I know, someone did break in because that same day my schedule was missing off my wall. That's when Nora <laughs> says, also, I probably should have told you this sooner, but one day I caught Ange next to your car. Wait, what? I was heading over your place at night when I caught Ange bent over by your car. I asked what she was doing, but she just played dumb. I'm like, God damn it, because someone keyed my car. I just thought it was some drunk asshole, not some crazy bitch. Now, luckily, I didn't have any more interactions with Ange. I thought it was all behind me. That was until about yeah. a year later when I was working at Bed Bath & Beyond. I had recently mm -hmm. threw out my lower back and was super depressed, nice. just unloading boxes, when I get a phone call from my old roommate, Jake. Jake is like, hey, Steve, listen, I shouldn't be telling you this, but um, I just thought you should know. Ange is pregnant. Whoa, what? Yeah, and actually I was wondering, um, do you think it's yours? What? No, we haven't smashed in like two years. Oh, okay, <laughs> I was getting worried for a second. But Jake, you know what this means, right? That you won't be a father? Well, of course that, but it means she trapped someone. What? She trapped someone, Jake. She was so distraught over the fact I could just sleep with her for over a year and have no feelings that she found a way to make someone stay forever. What if she just forgot to take birth control? She never forgets to take birth control, Jake! Besides, it's so effective, you need to forget to take it for a few she never, she never, bro. Yo, she freaking de developed a sixth sense or a freaking, a, 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 a freaking instinct for it, bro. <laughs> she never forgets. Never. <laughs> Dang few days. She trapped someone, and it could have been me, Jake. This crazy bitch could have ruined my life, but instead I gotta live and see a sunrise one more time. Glad I can make your day, Steve. Now go live, buddy. I will. I will. I will, Jake. <laughs> Did this bitch just send me a friend request? <laughs> mm, you know what you want to do. No, 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 no. Get away with your freaking creepiness at the end. But then, <laughs> that was a great story, bro. Yo, people, yo, flood this dude channel. I don't know if how many people will watch this, but yes, wh whoever does, I, I pre yo. <laughs> I'm not sure, yo, I'm not big enough to freaking cause an influx of subscribers for, for this dude, but... <clears throat> Yo, whatever you can do, that counts, man. This dude is freaking great. This dude is talented and weird. <laughs> Yo, that's 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 wonderful. So if you enjoy the video, if you enjoy the, the reaction, I'm telling you, yes, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. I would very much appreciate it, and I thank you for watching the entire video. Yes, I'll see you in the next one, whatever reaction it may be. Um. Links in the comments to my socials, to my freaking Twitch. Um, uh, I don't have a streaming schedule yet, so yes, I'll try to post on YouTube whenever I'm 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 there. I, I, I'm I'm streaming, so yeah. Mostly follow the Instagram because that's where I'm I'm gonna try to post whenever I'm live. You know, so I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, Itekimas. Let's get this. Let's get it. Yeah.